Hello guys, my name is Gabriel Lopez and today I want to talk a little about this little piece of hardware. This is called the MSP430 and this specific model is the MSP430G2553. Uh, this is made by Texas Instruments. So what this is, is a launchpad development tool that is going to be actually re really useful for every engineer in the world pretty much you can do whatever you want with it it, it will just need some some coding and some booster packs so if you have the time and you really want to learn you won't regret it and if you want to go deep into this and you want to go by yourself without the videos and uh, make sure to get your hands into this book it's called getting started with the MSP430 launchpad this is by Adrian Fernandez and Dong Dang it's really go it's really good it goes step by step with all the theory about computer science and electrical engineering behind behind the launchpad so let's get to know our little friend right here this part of the launchpad this is the brain is the main part of all of all this piece of hardware this is what processes and makes a decision of the recollected data uh, these are the buttons this right here these are LEDs these are pins to actually connect booster packs or modules this is the programmer part is what actually compiles the code that we download into the into the launchpad and this is the USB port so if we're gonna start uh, using this and we want to start start programming we need to start thinking about all the codes about this in three parts and uh, it will be the senses or input the brain and the actions or output so pretty much how this works is how the name sa says it it's the senses is actually just recollecting the data that is going into the into the launch pad like pressing the button that will be a sense or because it will be an input uh, this brain has a temperature sensor so it's always constantly reading the temperature that will be an input and if we add some booster packs we can actually make it sense sound like uh, uh, pretty much everyone you want everything you want so that will be the senses uh, the brain is the one in charge of processing and the actions will be Right now, without any booster pack, uh, what it has as an action or as an output is the LEDs. It has two different ones, the green one and the red one. And it actually can send in real time the information to the computer when it's connected to it. So a good example will be the demo code that is actually preloaded into the launchpad. Let me show you. When we connect it, the first thing that is going to happen, and well, if it's brand new and you haven't used it, uh, is the LEDs are going to start blinking. This is a TI MSP430 saying hello, pretty much. So if you want to start with the demo code, what you need to do is press the button. The button. All right. So what is this demo code doing? When we press it, it saved the baseline temperature. So what it's going to do if, is if it gets hot, if it gets hotter than that baseline temperature, the red LED is gonna turn on, and if it gets colder, the green LED is gonna turn on. So the sensors right here will be the temperature sensor that is perceiving the temperature, and it's to be hotter or colder than the baseline temperature. That is one. That's when we press the button, and the actions uh, will be the the LEDs. Another good example good example will be uh, pretty much. Talking about the same thing, let's say we code this thing to make a, to turn the fan on uh, if it's above 71 degrees. So that's the the launchpad is constantly checking the temperature, and when it goes above 71 degrees, it sends the information to the brain, and the brain is gonna make the decision to turn the fan on. So now let's check the demo code. Like I told you, if it goes hotter than the baseline temperature, the red LED is gonna turn on. So Let's rub the brain where the temperature sensor is at. That should make it hotter. And there you go. 
the red LED is on. So whenever the temperature goes back to normal, the the red LED should turn off. So let's just wait a little. There you go. So now if we do this, it should make the green LED the turn on, right? There you go. That's pretty neat, huh? Well, I hope you're as amazed as I am with this thing. But to start making the code, that's a different story. Uh, to start thinking as a programmer, whenever you have a chance, uh, try to think the most logical possible. So with this code, I made this, this little diagram just as an example. Because that's how code works. So when it starts, blink. Was the button pressed? No, All right, so keep blinking. Uh, but if it was pressed, save temperature, then constant reading of temperature. Then is it hotter? Yes, uh, then turn the red LED on. Uh, but it, is it hotter? No, then it asks itself, is it colder? Yes, then turn the green LED on. But if it wasn't colder, uh, then that means it wasn't hotter neither. So do not turn LEDs on and just keep reading the temperature. So I hope you learned something. And my next video is going to be about how to make, make it actually blink with a code. And you, we're going to get hands on with energy. And we're going to start messing, messing around with the code and getting to understand some commands. So I hope you take your time to see the next one. I'm going to try to upload a different video every week. So have a good day and keep practicing. And I hope we all get a lot better with this little amazing thing. Alright, so have a good day. Bye.